have probably seen headlines all over social media about Apple's new paper, Illusion of Thinking. These posts say that AI can't reason, models collapse under pressure, and AI is further away than we thought. So what does the paper actually show? Let's break it down. Apple ran a very well-designed study. Instead of using benchmarks that might overlap with models training data, they built custom puzzles like Tower of Hanoi, River Crossing, Block Walls, etc., where they could dial up the difficulty step by step. Then they tested both regular large language models and models that were specifically trained to reason using chain of thought prompt. This is what they found. One, on simple tasks, both models do well. On medium tasks, reasoning models shine because of chain of thought. But on hard tasks, when the logic gets really complex, both types of models collapse. Accuracy drops to nearly zero. So even when the model is given the exact algorithm, it struggles to execute it step by step as the task gets harder. And interestingly, the models don't just fail, their reasoning traces actually get shorter. It's almost like model starts giving up when the problem exceeds what it can do with pattern matching. Now, what does this not mean? It does not mean AI is useless, it does not mean AGI is impossible, but it does remind us that today's LLMs, even those trained for reasoning, are not truly reasoning machines. They are pattern matchers, they simulate reasoning by copying patterns they've seen, but they don't yet have the ability to generalize logical strategies to brand new and complex problems. This is something people like Gary Marcus and Jan Lekun have pointed over the years, and this paper backs it up with real strong data. So next time you see viral posts shouting AI can't think, remember that that is not a breaking news, it's a well-known limitation of current AI. And that is why building new architectures and not just scaling up the existing ones is key to pushing this field forward. If you want more grounded takes on what's really happening in AI, follow me along.